Good morning from Curacao. It is day two. We arrived yesterday at about 4.45 ish. We got checked in around 4.45. We spent the day yesterday traveling, getting settled in, and then sitting by the pool, just having a couple drinks before heading to our eight o'clock dinner reservation. We ate at Kome Curacao. I didn't even get a chance to show y'all the room before we came in and got settled in. We just had such a long travel day that we were ready to put our stuff down, change clothes, hit the beach, do what we could do within the few hours that we had. But I'll insert some clips on the screen. I did take some videos on my phone. We're staying at Carmendon Mangrove Beach Resort. It's all inclusive. I think it's owned by Hilton. But yeah, it's really nice so far. I like it. Our room is like very cute and I guess like boutique style-ish. And it's like more modern. It's 7.45 in the morning. We've been up since 5.45. We hopped out of bed and went down to the beach to watch the sunrise. It was so gorgeous. We watched a cargo ship go across the ocean and kind of come close towards us, which was really interesting and cool to see because I've never seen like a actual live huge cargo ship carrying like huge cargo containers in real life. Sunrise was gorgeous. The sun was rising at like 6.30ish. So yeah, um, Keon also had a quiz to take for school this morning, so he was doing that out by the sunrise. It was just such a perfect way to start the morning. Now we are dressed for the day. I have on this one piece from Icon Swim. I have these super cute waist chains that I got from a small black business on Etsy and some cargos from White Fox Boutique. They're more like parachute pants, but I think they're called cargos on the website. I will leave the name of it in the description below. And I'm just wearing these rope sandals that I got from ASOS and we are ready to hit the streets. We got a rental car, so we've been driving around and driving here, it's not that bad, but like they don't really have that many traffic rules or the same traffic rules as we do. And they don't have the same traffic signs and like they do their speed limit in kilometers. And you know, in the US we use miles per hour. So it's definitely an adjustment. We've been getting around just fine. So I plan this whole day for his birthday full of fun and excursions. Um, first, we're gonna start our day by going to breakfast. It opened at seven. So yeah, we're gonna hit the breakfast bar before we go to jet skis at 9.30. And then at two o'clock, we have an ATV tour. So we're gonna have a day full of fun. I'm super excited to see what we get into. I really wanna go local and see the culture and get some authentic local food. Morning, babe. 
Happy birthday. Appreciate it. How you feel? Good. You ready? It's not too hot yet, but yesterday when we got here, oh my gosh. And I've also seen like locals and stuff say that the heat is unusual for this time of year. It's unusually and unbearably hot, but it's not that hot yet. Probably because it's only 7.37, but we'll see. It feels good. I put my feet in the water this morning and it was pretty cool. It felt good. I'm sure that as the day goes on and as it gets super hot, that the water will feel good. You need to put on sunscreen, babe. I'll put my on. Let's go. Breakfast was okay. It wasn't the best compared to other all-inclusive resort breakfasts that I've had, but it was just okay. What do you think, babe? Shit was Yeah, like, at every all-inclusive resort I've been to, Dominican Republic, Jamaica, and Mexico, they've had, like, the beef and rice for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, honestly. Like that was my favorite dish and I was surprised not to see it here because they've had it everywhere that I've been in the Caribbean and that's what I would eat every morning. But all they had, I mean, it wasn't that bad, but I feel like it wasn't that many choices compared to other places that I've been. And I didn't like my first plate at all. Let's go take a shot. Champion. Alrighty, we have arrived. I was telling Key that I could like definitely see us living here. He doesn't think so, but I could see us living here, living a nice, slow. I didn't see that. You did. 
you said you're surprised that before we seen them before we seen in big houses you said you couldn't see us living here but y'all we saw some huge uh, near Caracas Bay and like Jan Thiel area we saw some huge huge like modern nice villas thank you thank you Let's get the bill. What about what? <laughs> we're headed to the ATVs and y'all, we're late. They, hold on. I'm trying to pull the camera out. Uh, 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 let's turn it <laughs> <music> down. <laughs> they called my phone, the tour people, and we're like, we're starting in 10 minutes. Where are you? Leave it up to Miss Jones. We always. No, I told him to come on, let's get out the pool. He told myself, no, we got in here five minutes ago. Like, I knew. I knew time was passing too fast. And we didn't have phones, so we didn't know what time it was. First of so, all, she's lying. No, I'm not lying. How am I lying? She did I not say, did I not start to walk out the pool? She and you was like, she said it was 105 five minutes ago. And I was like, no, it's been 10 minutes. You said, okay, it's 115. Tell who lied. <laughs> you. The ATV tours start at 2 o'clock. What time is it? 2.02. We better make it within the next minute. I'm driving the Honda Hellcat. I haven't even seen the rural areas enough for us to drive it. Nah, it's some off road stuff. I've seen it on the pictures. I love Curacao, y'all. Like, I want to move here so bad. So bad. Like, I can see myself living somewhere like them great houses right there. Oh, those aren't even houses yet, but. Lady sounded cool still. in the bottom. Uh, I don't know. I couldn't tell. <laughs> yeah, that's where we need to be. Shark left, then you'll arrive. But where are we gonna park? Right here? Is this a park? <laughs> Alrighty. Time to hop out. We're already late. <laughs> and then, we got signals. Left. Right.
touch that. Don't touch it. Stop before that shit bite you now. <laughs> it's a peacock. dinner um i haven't been able to vlog since we got back from the atvs because we were so dirty and just nasty we had to hop in a shower and come straight to dinner it's 7 15 and we're eating at a seafood restaurant tonight and hopefully we can find somewhere to go after this like outside like to the club happy birthday For a starter, we have fish soup. Oh, no, it's fish soup. There are literally three cars in the parking lot. Like, it's a Wednesday night. Is nobody here yet? One of our, one of the people that worked at the places that we had our ATV tour earlier said that it doesn't get lit until like one. It's 11 and we're gonna be in the bed sleeping by one, so. Looks like we're going back to the resort. We're headed to our excursion. We cannot be on time for nothing. Nothing. Oh, we. Yes, we. <laughs> yes, we. The excursion is at 10 and we're going to arrive at like 10.02. But yesterday, um, when we got there for the ATV, 3,000 feet turn right, then keep right. 
we got there like 10 minutes late for one because we got lost that's really what put us back we would have gotten there at like 203 but we got there at like 210 and when we got there the lady was like um your tour guide left because it started at two o'clock can you do it tomorrow and we're just like um like that's gonna throw off our whole day but they ended up letting someone take us to our group and all was well the tour was really fun um we saw literally like half the island it was so beautiful it shows us a like a point of view of the island that you wouldn't get to see that you definitely wouldn't see unless you do the tour so if you come here i highly recommend doing the tour the atv tour with eric eric's adventures atv tour or something like that we did an east tour but i heard that the west tour was better honestly i didn't even know that there was a west tour but yeah a lot of the best beaches are on the west i could only imagine like how much more nature it is on the west but i'm glad that we did east because i really liked seeing the neighborhoods and the developments and stuff and the houses our excursion this morning is a sea trek adventure i'm pretty sure we'll have to get most of that on the gopro because it is underwater and then we're gonna spend the rest of the day beach hopping on the west side on the west side all right let's hurry up because we're already late come on babe come on stay calm keep your head straight good that's why i'm at the go down all right We got full face snorkel masks from Amazon to bring with us to snorkel. So we are about to hit the beach. Only you feel on my body. I want to know what, where this is though. Like, what's this resort or whatever? Looks nice. Looks somewhere I would stay. Would you stay up there? We're just walking around. We tried to catch a happy hour, but 
some beach clubs only have happy hours on certain days and today is not a day that this beach club has a happy hour and it's just kind of dead. For these vibes, we can go to the resort. We've been riding through different towns and cities, I guess, all day and everyone is just outside in the evenings, especially like socializing, walking around, and I just love to see it a lot. <laughs> Porch. Yeah, sitting on the porch, waving at people, just like people watching and just enjoying outdoors and the beautiful weather. I wish I could do that every day. Like it's giving me such a feeling of peace and like serenity. I wish I could live the slow island life. I love how colorful the buildings are here. Oh, drive through coffee. flight leaves or it boards at 1 and we need to be at the airport around 11 and drop off the rental car we have to put gas in the rental car it's 9 30 um we're probably gonna leave within the next hour but first we need to go get a bite to eat and we need to hurry up before we get the pickovers we also gotta go return these towels because if you don't baby 25 dollar fee our last morning with this view come on bae come on why are you only rushing me like that? Because I'm hungry and I said let's go before we get pickovers. Feels good out here. Dang, I'm gonna miss this. Well, that's it. It's yeah. a wrap. It's a wrap. <laughs> we had a good time, Curacao. Thanks for all the memories and the good times. Experiences with the love of my life. <laughs> Until we meet again.